How's it going guys? It's Pokemandy here and today we have a pretty comprehensively sword and shield uh, opening. So uh, let me just uh, reveal what we have here. So first of all, we have these Pogo tens, which is interesting. I've never seen these before. And I'm assuming they're a bit older, like from when Pogo came out. And uh, just so you know, this sticker is a lie. It was not 798. This is the correct one. So, yeah. Jeez, man. Come on. Let's look at the next thing. I found this one. I don't really know what this is. It looks Battle Styles esque. It's a Tyranitar V box. Um, 2021 is the date on it. So, like, best case scenario, we get, like, some cosmic or something. Best case. Um, and then we have six of these. Yeah, we're back. We're back to these. Um, it's just how we, it's just how we roll, baby. Kind of like the pack variation it provides. And finally, we have two of these. So, uh, you know, try to get some Evolving Skies in there. I've had... Really, really good luck with Evolving Skies lately. I've done some off-camera opening, and I have gotten, I think, a VMAX in pretty much... I'd like to say 75% of the packs. I have not gotten regular Vs. It's either non-hollows or VMAXs. Oh, wait. Now that I'm thinking about it, we have the Lugia V Alt Art came back in from PSA. Now, gang, remember, I pulled this one on camera. I didn't really know what it was, and I was like, okay, but um, here she is. She's a nine. So, as you can see, there's centerings off in the back. That's what did it in. But um, you know what? A nine is fine, and plus it's cool since it's one I've pulled. So it, like, I don't know. It's like it has a little memory attached to it. All right, enough, enough yapping. Here, let me get in. Let's get into this first Pikachu uh, Pogo box. All right, let's open the uh, let's open the liar first. I think this 758. God, that is a blatant lie. It's crazy. Oh yeah, today's the um. As of as of today, I'm filming my filming day. It is September 12th. And the, uh, the uh, Scarlet and Violet DLC has just come out. Yeah, baby. And uh, basically, I, I've started playing it, naturally. And I am right at about the point where you go and have to take pictures of all those things. That's pretty monog- like, that could be anything. So I'm just trying to avoid spoilers for people. If they, like, really, really want to stay away from spoilers. Yeah. Okay, so what do we have here? We have this little stickers, I think. Yeah. Well, what? It, what? Well, ugh, well, what do you make of that? We have a nice little Chansey, or is that Blissey? Um, Snorlax and Pikachu. Always Pikachu. And then here's some Pogo stuff. I don't know. And, oh, we have another Pikachu. A little, uh, that's cool, actually. I like that one. Nice little promo. Ooh, yeah, we have four packs of Pogo. Not bad. Pogo, I feel like, well, at least for me, has become pretty rare. Like, I have not been able to find much Pogo. So let's get this first pack. Four, and we have oh, Zatu and Melmetal regular V. That is a regular V to start us off. We'll take that. That's a pull. That's cool. Melmetal. Speaking of that, I just I just evolved my shiny Meltan in Pogo to shiny Melmetal. So it's fitting. Like today I did that. Apom and Venusaur, regular, hollow. 
you win some, you lose some. That's what they all say. And, uh, you know what? We'll take that. Whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's get that, um, Mewtwo alternate art. I know that thing exists, and that thing looks cool. Four. Yeah. And here we have Galissapod and Lapras, regular hollow. Oh, well. Oh, well. Pogo is a little bit rough with the pull rates sometimes, I've found at least. Special sets. It's just how they work. They either have great pull rates, like Crown Zenith, or not so great. God, I'm blanking. Sylveon, regular hollow. Alright, there goes that first little tin. We have the Melmetal V to show for it, which isn't too bad, but uh, let's get into this next tin and see if we can get better luck. All right, let's get on to this, uh, this next Pikachu. And as you can see, uh, during the, uh, the cut, I put that, uh, put Lugia right there. You know it. Take this off. Oh, um, here. I have something to mention, but... There's, it's, it's about something in this, in this tin. So when that thing comes up, I'll, uh, I'll mention it. There's the stickers again, and this is, this is what I was gonna mention. This thing, I wanted to like hide it because I thought I could get like the codes for Pogo, um, but expired July first, twenty twenty three. So that's kind of a while ago. So no, I will not be getting that. It's before I went to England. Time flies, huh? Okay, let's see this. These four. Pogo action. For real. Ooh, V-Star energy. Then we have Venusaur and Articuno, regular hollow. That Venusaur as the reverse is kind of cool. I'm going to keep that. It's a rare starter as a reverse. Quasi, man. What are we quasi? Okay. Let's get this second pack of this Pogo tin. Uh, well, there's a V. I'll just reveal it. Zatu and Dragonite V. That is a pretty cool looking V card. That's actually nice, yeah. I like I like how it's like just drawn. You can tell it's drawn. It's pretty. But let's see if we can get something a, a tier higher. You know? I don't know if that was something I didn't really see for long enough. Gyarados and oh it's stuck to it. What is it? Dragonite V Star. Okay, yes, it did give us the tier above. The tier above. Dragonite V is Dragonite V Star. So, thank you, Pogo. You directly answered my prayers. You or you literally answered my prayers. Now let's see this last Pogo pack. Yeah, baby. Probably not the last one of the video though, with the MJ holdings, because those those can have Pogo in them. They do kind of frequently. The Barrel and Blastoise, regular hollow. I'm still uh, wondering why that Dragonite V-Star was stuck to the back of the reverse. Really, it's kind of weird. I've never had that happen before. Let's see if this is just all battle styles or if it's something good. If it's all battle styles, then that is a waste of money. But, who knows? Could even have some Evolving Skies, or maybe this is, I think it's before Evolving Skies is time. Oh, no, it's just repackaged. Um, so there, yeah, you can see Brilliant Stars. Yeah, it's just repackaged. God, so misleading. Oh, I hate it when that happens. But here's this from the V Strikers 10 Tyranitar V. Yep, that is this 10. 
let's see the pack selection, the the false pack selection. And it's on oh wait, no, that's five. I thought that was four. Okay. Brilliant stars, brilliant whoa. All brilliant stars? You're kidding. Oh my god. All brilliant stars. Okay, well I guess I guess we'll open them. God, that is dis that is beyond disappointing. It's crazy that it's all brilliant stars. Wormadam, Magmortar. Non hollow. Well, let's break into these, I guess. I guess, I guess. They're kind of hard to open. Electabuzz and Grimmsnarl, non-hollow. Imagine if these are just all non-hollows, too. That would really, would really round it out. Oh, this one seems like it's going to be as well. Fracture and Mewtwo, non-hollow. And, uh, let's, you know what? I don't want to get a pull out of these last two. Because that would mean that Brilliant Stars did something good. Okay, well, Granbull V. We'll take it, I guess. I guess. Brilliant Stars. Oh, God. Wow, what a letdown. Five Brilliant Stars packs. I thought the, this one, the bottom one, was Fusion Strike, and I was going to be like, well, that's okay, but no. It's all Brilliant Stars. And we get one... Oh, that's a... There's error energy right there. The little pink lines. And that's also a, a, a hollow, which is weird, because the, the code card did not indicate such. But, um, wow, that was, that was rough to experience. Um, I guess let's get on to these, these mystery boxes, huh? Okay, we have to wish for the same luck we had that one time that we pulled the black and white base out of one of these. It was an, it was an MJ Holdings box. I'm not sure if it was this product specifically. I think it might have been the four pack one, but yeah. Alright, we have three packs in there. Looks like a Celebrations. Astral Radiance, Celebrations, and ooh, Brilliant Stars. Jeez, man. Wow. Let's just open that one first, I guess. You know what? Weasel Motham. Brilliant Stars never gives me any pulls. Just go through it, honestly. Because... It's not gonna do anything. But let's see the celebrations. You know, celebrations could have something. Nothing from celebrations is really worth that much, but could have something. Oh, I see something. Kyogre. Why is this not focusing? Groudon. Don Fan. Okay, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. That is the Don Fan. What? That's 2010. Was that like. Platinum or like heart gold soul silver maybe um, But that's not a bad card at all. That looks cool. I mean, it's nice to get those throwback cards and celebrations And I guess uh, guess astral now astral radiance I like this set I love that Palkia Oh, I don't love that though Commodo and Mamoswine, non hollow. Well, not totally a bust on the first mystery box, but we did get a Brilliant Stars, so that definitely deducts the points a bit. Let's get this open. I honestly can't believe that there was a point in my life that I bought a Brilliant Stars ETB. It's crazy. Ooh, what is this? I'm gonna try to guess. Um, so this is Fusion Strike, this top one. This one is, um, yeah, it's Lost Order. I don't know what this one is, oh, whatever. Just Astral Radiance, okay. 
I didn't, I didn't really have the patience for that. Okay, let's do astral, then fusion, then lost origin. God, these, these packs always feel so thick of astral. Look at that off-color card. Or, I don't, I don't even know. Oshawott and Registeel. Non-hollow. I don't know if that card was, uh, like, kind of a, kind of saturated more or something. Or maybe, you know, I'm delusional. But, Fusion Strike. Give me that Gengar, you know? It's a good sign. Why are there so... Why does this feel so thick? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's the regular amount of cards. I don't understand why. But see, that that card looks off from the rest of them. Oh, okay. There's our pull. Crabominable V. I, I'm almost positive that was the pack trick. Was that not the pack trick? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have to go back through that and see. I, th this is baffling. This, I don't, I don't know what's going on anymore. Okay, lost origin, lost origin. Get back in the game. <laughs> Give us that Giratina. Let me see some silver. It's a good sign. Good sign. Four. Wormple and Hisuian Arcanine regular hollow. All right. All right. So that's our second box, yeah. Um, again, nothing too crazy. But uh, maybe our third box can pick it up a bit. Be nice to us, please. We've been hurting from all that brilliant stars earlier. And there's the three packs. We have Shining Fates. Oof, and Astral Radiance. Shining Fates is cool. Here we go. Focused. The Brilliant Stars, I guess, goes first. Ugh, God. Oh my God. A black border code card. But it's a regular haul, yeah. Marnie's Pride and Staraptor, not even a regular hollow. It's just a misleading code card. That is so brilliant stars core. Astral Radiance, Astral Radiance. Radiance, Astral Radiance. Astral Radiance. Code card is good. We have, oh, Silver Border, Silver Border. <gasps> Verizian V Full Art. Let's go. That is a good pull. That is something we like. Yeah, baby. Full Art from Astral Radiance. Cool. Stacking up on these pulls here. A lot of regular Vs, but, you know, is what it is. Let's check Shining Fates. Maybe a baby shiny in here. Good code, good code. I don't know if it's guaranteed to be a good code, though. Um, oh, Shinx and Ditto. Regular V-card. All right. I like Ditto. It's cool. It looks like a photograph. I guess we're on. That was halfway through our mystery boxes. So let's see what this fourth one has in store. Maybe one of the chase packs that it suggests... Chase pack seated one in ten. I mean, we have six, so the odds are technically in our favor. Nope. Um, if there was a chase pack, there'd be an extra one in there. There we go. Astral Radiance, Lost Origin, and Fusion Strike. It's all right. It's all right. Let's run Astral first. had pretty decent luck from it, but it does not look like that luck is returning. 
Wait and see, turbo. I don't know what that is. Thievil, non-hollow. Non-hollow. That's okay, because it just gave us something real nice. Fusion Strike, Fusion Strike, Gengar, Gengar, Gengar. If I pull that Gengar, I will send it to get graded tomorrow. Don't think I'll be pulling that Gengar. We have Croconaw and Corviknight, non-hollow. Non-hollow, 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 non-hollow. Okay, Lost Origin, Lost Origin, Giratina, Lost Origin, Giratina, please. I'm begging. Ooh, that might be gold. I think that's gold. I see back there. Yeah, is it? Oh, okay. It's just nothing. Love Disc and Malamar. Non hollow. Why did I think there was gold? I'm, I'm just confused, I guess. Wow. I don't know why I thought that. But, uh,. I guess let's move on to this fifth mystery box. Crack it open. Looks like we just have three packs. We got a Celebrations, Astral Radiance, and is that Brilliant Stars? Oh. Two, is that two astrals? Oh god, no. Oh, jump scared again. It hurts, it really does. Whatever. Let's just see it. Bad code card. But you know what? That could mean the opposite because this is brilliant stars. Nope. Nose pass and muck. Non hollow. God, I. I need to stop opening Brilliant Stars. Whenever I get it, I should just set it aside and leave it there. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see. We have, ooh, Dark Patch and Machamp VMAX. That is nice. I like Machamp VMAX. That is a cool looking form. We got it. We got a Machamp VMAX. Perfect. Now let's see what celebrations could have in store. I'll cut through this one. Let's get it out here. There's our code. And Rockets Admin. Okay, that is another pull. We're doing pretty well on these. Um, celebrations packs. Rockets Admin, fully textured. 2004 era. Is that like, uh, whatever they call it? Ruby and Sapphire? Maybe. But that's pretty cool. That is another pull to put down. Put down in our pull pile. Now let's get this final mystery box. These things. Final box luck, please. No. And we have brilliant stars in there. You know what? I'm just going to do what I said I was going to do and set it aside. I'm not going to open it. Astral Radiance. Astral Radiance. Oh, I see something back there. Good. See something good? Oh, Typhlosion. Hisuian Typhlosion V-Star. There we go. That's pretty good. That is another V-Star. Yeah, doing pretty good on these V-Stars today. Not doing crazy on any, like, alt arts because we haven't gotten any, but we've got a full art and a bunch of the, or in two of these celebrations, little special things. So let's see this celebrations. I'm going to do one to the front. Mew. Nice. Dialga. Cosmoam. And Cosmog. So that one did not have a hit in it. Well, we went two for three on celebrations, which is pretty good. 
It's pretty good. But I guess it's time for our two lunch boxes. I like these. I like these lunch boxes. That's why I got more. So let's see what we got in this one. Cut through it. back and let's open it so yeah there's our promos whatever we've seen it and we got the battle styles version but there's our evolving skies always good to have evolving skies let's check that code card too all right collector's chest i guess this is called Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Inteleon, Collector's Chest. Go Battle Styles first, then Chilling Rain, and then the Evolving Skies. Actually, you know what? I'm feeling special, so we're just going to open this other one as well, and open all ten of these packs at once. I don't know why. Uh, I just think it looked cooler. see what we got in here. Battle Styles again. There's our promos. Whatever. Battle Styles, Chilling Rain, and Evolving Skies. So that works out pretty nicely because we'll have full of four, uh, four Evolving Skies, four Battle Styles, and two Chilling Rains. There we have. And now let's get in to these packs once and for all. Starting off with these battle styles here. I, I don't know which is worse, if it's battle styles or rebel clash. Oh, there's just no code card. All right. But uh, yeah, I don't wanna go through this whole thing. This could be an error pack. No, no, it doesn't look like it, but there was no code card. So I guess that's technically an error pack. Let's see if the rest of these follow that trend, huh? No, I think this one has it. Yeah, this one has one. But that's a good one. What? Battle Styles having a good code card? Oh. Boltund and Steelix, regular hollow. Regular hollow. That's okay. That's okay. Battle Styles, once again. This is our third pack. Ooh. Whatever. Perugly and Vivillon. Vivion? I don't know. Vivion? Non hollow. And our final battle styles. Oh, that actually reminds me. I got this in the mail today. I think it's from Battle Styles. I like this card. Yeah. That would be that would be what are we crazy if we pulled in this in this battle styles pack the same card let's make it happen well, let's pull pull the water form or no okay or not yeah these packs are like damage cheruby and licky licky like look where is it yeah like here this is damaged yeah. well you know that's what you expect from battle styles. I guess uh, we can move on to these two chill and rains next. Let's get a Calyrex Shadow Rider V Max Alt Art. Or let's get a uh, Moltres Alt Art. That's a good code card. Give us something good, please. Oh, Rockruff and Cresselia. Regular hollow. Whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever. Chilling rain, chilling rain. Final chilling rain of today. There were only two, but still, it's the final chilling rain of today. Good code. Maybe there's luck for us here. Oh, <gasps> Celio and Volcanian regular V card. That is a regular V. That is a pull. That is some luck. It's all right. And now we have these evolving skies. Let's make it symbolic. 
and open the Duraludons first, and the Umbreons second. So let's slow roll these packs, I think. Because it would be dramatic. There's our code card. One, two, three, four. Settled it in, and... Steel, Energy, Ursa Ring, Dream Ball, we'll focus maybe, yeah, Dream Ball, Zinnia's Resolve, Mareep, Drowsy, Scraggy, Phoebus, Hitmonchan, Snowleaf Badge, and Altaria, Non-Hollow. But that is just one of four Evolving Skies, so let's see... If we get more luck, or if we get better luck, I should say, in this pack. I'll check, yeah, see the code card on the other one. I just wanted to mainly see what, if it was the new, newer or older print run, but let's see it. Steel Energy again, hmm. Moon and Sun Badge. Toy Catcher. Hip Out On. Tim Pole. Hippopotus, Scraggy, Fletchling, Gossifleur, Roggenrola, and Drampa, non hollow. Oh, Drampa, non hollow. You get what you get, and you don't pitch a fit, I guess. Let's see these babies. The Umbreons. Bring us an Umbreon. Umbreon. That would be crazy. Oh, there's something there. I think that's a VMAX based on what I saw. Yep, yeah, there's that code. But who knows? It could be something even better. It could be something magnificent. Let's see. Grass Energy. Lucky Ice Pop. Crystal Cave. Palpitoad. Dino. Hopip. Tentacle. Zorua, Mareep, Boost Shake, and Duraludon VMAX. Okay, that's all right. We'll take that. VMAX from Evolving Skies. Yeah. That's an elusive Evolving Skies pull. But yeah, I was, I was saying how I was getting a ton of VMAXs from Evolving Skies, and there we go. Perfect example. For our final pack of the day. Our final Umbreon Evolving Skies. Let's make it count. Please deliver us something magical for our last pack magic. Okay. Fire Energy, Lombre, Fletchender, Lantern, Tentacool. Pumpkaboo, Bagon, Love Disc, C Dot, Floet, and Reggie Lucky, regular hollow. At least we ended off at the hollow, you know. At least we ended off at the hollow. Let's tally up these pulls, if I do say so myself. So today's total comes out to 13 pulls. We didn't have anything too crazy. But uh, we did have more reg um, more cards above a regular V. Like, just we had less regular Vs in terms of pulls than um, other cards. Oh, God, spit that out. Okay, so I feel like we're on kind of a dry streak with pulls lately. We got to get that back on. Volcanion, V. Ditto, V. Crabounable, Granbull. Dragonite. Like it. And Mel Metal. We have Dragonite V Star. Wait, that's not how I intended to do it. Whatever. Dragonite V Star. Hisuian V Star. Hisuian Typhlosion V Star. Excuse me. Rockets Admin. Don Fan. Duraludon V Max. Machamp V Max. And of course, Verizian V Full Art. And you know what? Let's open this. Let's 
just gonna go through it right away. Okay, okay, that's, that's something that's better. That is something that's better. I'm glad I opened this, actually, because we got Zekrom totaling 14 pulls instead of 13. Nice little uh, art card there, Train of Gallery. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching today. Make sure to hit that like button and also that subscribe button, because yeah, baby. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later.